pina colada matcha. A killer upper body, very functional workout. I have my brother coming into town. A salted caramel chocolate smoothie. I leave in five days, guys. I'm completely moving out. And look at all these oats. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I forgot I had a resistance band around my neck. As you can see, I'm in the gym. Today's vlog is going to be a good one. Full day of eating, just an absolute authentic day of my life as we come to the close of my chapter here in Scottsdale. So we're going to kick off this vlog with a killer upper body, very functional workout. I slept on my neck so weirdly last night it is in so much pain today it's all like it's just it's painful so we're gonna have a very functional based upper body workout so that means i'm not gonna be throwing around a bunch of heavy weight i'm gonna be very focused on form and using my whole entire upper body not just focusing too much on certain areas it's gonna be it's gonna be good so yeah we're gonna hop into this upper body workout why you wanna run Gotta be afraid. I wish I could make you stay. Cause baby, I love you. Why you trying to break us up? When I'm trying to build it up. I wish I could make you stop. Cause baby, I love you. Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight. I'm gonna miss your body. You know I can never get it right without you. No, I don't wanna step into the light. And then I came home at 8, got all pretty, <laughs> as you can see. I have my brother coming into town. <laughs> kind of bad timing, but I'm not complaining because I absolutely love family and I can't wait to show Scottsdale to my brother. And then I also wanted to share a full day of eating with you guys. Again, I know I just recently shared a full day of eating, but that one, I'm not going to lie, I, I definitely really 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 controlled my full day of eating it wasn't super 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 typical because i usually don't spend my whole entire day in the kitchen if i'm being honest i kind of made it a perfect full day of eating today is not going to be a perfect full day of eating today is real life today is i have a bunch of food content to get done today so that's gonna be my breakfast. I have literally like three or four recipes I need to shoot and film for my website, for a brand, all that stuff. So my breakfast is gonna be first, this matcha is the first thing I'm having. I'm choosing to have matcha today for two reasons. One, because I wanted to make a matcha recipe. And two, 
I'm very anxious. I know I threw around that word a lot in my last video, my last vlog where I mentioned and where I announced how I am moving to Italy. I threw around the word anxious a lot and I don't do that lightly and I don't do that to get attention or to use the tag or anything like that. I do have diagnosed anxiety and I don't try to like say it too often i try to watch myself and not try to make it like you know just another word to throw around it's not just a normal word to throw around it's an important word to talk about it's an important topic to talk about i'll go into it another time i don't really want to harp too much on anxiety but i just don't want you to think that i'm choosing to use that word just because it's a popular word it's, it's just my genuine truth like I am feeling incredibly anxious. Like sometimes my anxiety stops me from functioning at all and I don't wanna do anything. Sometimes my anxiety literally propels me and I get so much done. It's like 50-50 a lot of times with my anxiety. So today I feel like my anxiety is propelling me to get it done. That's what we're gonna to do today, get it done. So starting off with breakfast, <laughs> um, I have my matcha here. It is a pina colada matcha. I had this idea, summer's coming to an end. Everyone's talking about fall, fall, fall. That everyone's getting excited at least on like social media and stuff but i love summer i want to celebrate summer and so i had this idea because i had some pineapple and a can of coconut milk i asked myself what can i do with it pina colada matcha how hard is it to make it's three ingredients pineapple coconut milk like full fat really rich very delicious coconut milk and matcha powder so let me show you how i made this pina colada matcha delicious it tastes like a tropical happy caffeine heaven and i think did i even talk about this let me talk about why i even brought up anxiety in the first place on days when i know i am very anxious i wake up anxious i know i have a lot going on i choose matcha matcha does not make my heart race does not make me sweat it doesn't make me freak out as much as coffee does i love 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 coffee i'll never stop drinking coffee coffee though however does sometimes magnify my anxiety for me physically it'll make my heart race it'll make me jittery i will shake a lot so i'm choosing matcha today like i said one because of the recipe two because i do know like i just have to get so much done my head is gonna be going like this all day it's just gonna be going going crazy so by how fast i'm talking you probably can already tell i don't need coffee I'm choosing matcha. It's just like, I don't want to say it's a cleaner source of caffeine. It's just like a calmer source of caffeine. It's more slow. Like coffee, I feel like just hits you versus matcha is just like, does that make any sense? I don't think it does. <laughs> I don't know. and got right into shooting my next piece of content for today. So this is breakfast. <laughs> it is a salted caramel chocolate smoothie. And I know what you're thinking, Caroline, how unoriginal you put this in your last full day of eating. Something very similar, but I don't care because it's so hot here. It's delicious, it's packed full of protein and dessert for breakfast, what can I say? And why I love this so much is because the dates, if you've never had dates, first of all, what? <laughs> Second of all, I use the Majol dates, which are much more caramely than the other types of dates and are much more like soft and chewy. So what happened was is I put the dates in whole 
and when they blend them up tiny tiny little itty bitty specks remain so when you get that like you need a thick straw or you can even make like a smoothie bowl out of this when you get a bite of those dates it's like eating like a chewy piece of caramel within your smoothie so you're drinking like this caramel salted chocolate goodness and then you get bites of chewy caramel throughout because the dates are kind of like tiny little chunks basically you just need to make this it's so easy and the reason why I use tahini, you can use any nut butter you want. Tahini also has that really, really caramely undernote, like taste kind of, like it has this super subtle nuttiness from those sesame seeds. So tahini works so well, but so would cashew butter. Cashew butter would also work really well. Peanut butter would like change the flavors a lot. It'd be delicious, but it would just change the flavors a lot. I'm going to drink a little bit more of this and then honestly throw it in the freezer because I have so much more food than I need to shoot this morning. So it is 120. Sort of hungry, not really, but I guess I should eat something. So the smoothie that I had this morning, I ended up drinking the whole thing because it was so good. I've been full all morning long because I drank so much like liquid and then like all the ice that was in that smoothie. And anyway, I did a little bit of cleaning and then the rest of the afternoon I'm gonna do some more cleaning and organizing and getting ready to start packing. So I have this Tuscan melon, which if you're gonna get a melon in the summer, Tuscan melon is the way to go. You can literally smell it like a mile away. <laughs> That's when you know it's so ripe and ready to use. My nonna, my grandma in Italy, she gets headaches at any any strong scent. When I stay with her, I have to leave before I put perfume I have to put the perfume in my bag and take it with me on the go because if I spray perfume in her apartment, she will have a headache for hours so she never buys melon and if she does i like get mad at her because she's doing it for she's buying it for me because it gives her the worst headache ever melon is very strong but very delicious but anyways we're gonna make a little melon salad you guys know me i'm the salad queen but i never make them boring i always make them satisfying and delicious so we're gonna make like a really fun interesting salad it might sound weird most caroline recipes do super refreshing um we're gonna use orange blossom water love 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 this stuff so we're gonna use some orange blossom water let's just go to the fridge and talk about it why don't we oh we're gonna use up some of this basil i'm starting to stress like we need to start using up like i leave in five days and the fridge is still full let's see what else we got in here this i need to use so this is halloumi this will be going in the salad with the melon so some fried halloumi and melon we're kind of using, like when I build a recipe, it might not seem like it's making sense, but I promise it is, because I'm like using a family of flavors, if you know what I mean. All right, looking in the fridge, grabbing the bove. Oh, there it is, I put it in the drawer. Arugula for the base of the salad. A nice bittery green, great for digestion. I love how dark it is, I love dark greens, and it goes really well to balance out all the sweetness that we'll be having with the fruit and the dressing. A little cucumber. So we need mint and then an orange. A very, very sad. Sad orange. Um, what else is going into the dressing? I think that's it. Is that it? That's it. Okay. And then from the pantry, guys, it's a mess. Don't judge me. I know. Literally no organization. We're gonna grab a little bit of olive oil for the dressing. And then cardamom. Where's cardamom? Oh, hello, beauty. Some cardamom for the dressing. Oh, I don't have any honey, but I do have a little bit of maple syrup. A little bit, like, yeah. Okay, excuse the mess of my apartment. And of course, no dish in the world is complete without some salt. Okay, I've gathered all the ingredients for lunch. We're gonna make some lunch and then we're gonna tackle this because, oh my God, I leave in literally five days. <laughs> I leave in five days, guys. I'm completely moving out. And look at all these oats. I need to like find a way to donate some food or something because who, what? Costco, I blame Costco. You know, you don't realize you're moving and you need to get rid of stuff until it's like too late, you know? You don't realize you don't have enough time until you don't have enough time, you know? 
All right, lunch. literally took me an hour to make this <laughs> which in real time that I'm not filming and shooting and so and so it should take me literally 10 minutes of chopping and then frying up the halloumi this is this is gonna be bomb this was a this was a fridge clean out turned into a dang good meal if you ask me I don't know you might think this sounds a little crazy with the orange blossom water you could totally leave that out if you wanted to but what a refreshing summertime salad all right enough talking let's try it oh god the battery's about to die hold on all right change my battery the fork just flew out and the food sprayed all over my desk well i know what i'm doing after this cleaning <laughs> all right so i have to get a bite of everything cheese cantaloupe and cucumber with a few herbs on each. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh. How dramatic am I when I taste food? What on the earth is, I don't even know what I created, but it's so good. The dressing is so light. You barely taste it, but it's there. And it's kind of seeping to the bottom to kind of get to that arugula and dress the arugula so the arugula is not so plain. I'm really not that hungry and I want to be hungry for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna eat a few more bites and then move out of the kitchen. I'm so done being in the kitchen for today. Literally, it feels like my whole life is in the kitchen. I'm just ready for change, what can I say? Speaking of change, after I finish this, we're gonna do some cleaning and organizing and get ready for this friggin' move. So let's do that. lighting of my kitchen so that's the update it is 5 45 and never eat this late anymore <laughs> which i need to start getting used to eating very late if i'm moving to italy i need to get used to eating very very late so we're feeling chill about it tonight anyways so this afternoon i cleaned up my content area where i do all my food wiped it all down vacuumed stuff like that um threw in a huge load of laundry 
for like towels and blankets because my brother's coming to stay, like I said. And then I organized my bathroom. I'm a beauty lover, so I have so many products. I know, I love products. It is what it is. So I packed up everything I could into bags and slash containers, cleaned all my makeup and stuff. So it's just ready to go, except for my makeup. I need to pack my makeup, but that'll take like three minutes because everything's already organized and cleaned and everything, which feels so good. I threw away a bunch of like expired products and almost empty products that I was like saving to like refill, like saving bottles, thinking you're gonna like refill them for when you travel and stuff like that. Why do we do that to ourselves? Why do we save so much stuff for no reason, right? So we're about to leave to pick up my brother from the airport in about 15 minutes. And then we're gonna go to dinner at one of my favorite places in Scottsdale. I've never vlogged eating at Farm and Craft. If you come to Scottsdale, specifically like Old Town, one of my favorites, really good food, amazing atmosphere. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out to dinner, walk around to Old Town. That's about it. lasagna was so amazing I tried to pick like meals at restaurants that I wouldn't normally make myself so like I'm not gonna go and make a lasagna anytime soon so I thought that would be it was like a veggie lasagna it was so delicious it had like lentil pasta like pesto on top I wasn't gonna I like should have ordered a salad with how like I was not starving I really wanted a salad but at the end of the day like I can make a salad at home I want to eat like really good food when I go out so that's what I chose so that was Tuesday um, right now it's actually Friday I spent all day Wednesday and Thursday with my brother and then all day today and tomorrow I'm vlogging and then the day after that because it's the move we are currently in the move so that'll be the next vlog so I will be literally starting the next vlog in the car just like I'm ending this vlog but anyways I hope you enjoyed I hope you got some value out of the full day of eating thank you thank you thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and of course leave a comment I'd love to know what you thought if you're gonna try these recipes any and all things so thank you thank you thank you I am so incredibly grateful for you and I hope you create a very zestful day ciao